Can you be scary? Oh, oh, I didn't know they were asking me. Can I be scary? <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> oh, snap, my Tim Burton film. The one and only Beetlejuice, y'all. I'm excited. I haven't seen this since I was a real little kid. Also, I have a very, very important public service announcement. So if you want to hear that, just wait to the end of the video. I got a lot of stuff that I want to go over and clear up. But with that being said, we're about to start this reaction, baby. I'm excited for this one. Damn, this dude looks familiar. I'm really trying to figure out who this guy is. Okay, I haven't seen her in a minute. Well, there's enough here to do the Oh, whole snap! Thing. That's Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I, you see it right there. <laughs> I, I couldn't see it. Man, he was so young. He was so young. Oh, dang. It's, it's kind of messed up because it's literally right after uh, he shot that, was that, uh, I forgot her name, the cinematographer on his new movie. That's wild. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but damn, he looks so young. He looks like he probably like in his... Late twenties? Okay, Gina Davis. Okay, like I know her from a few movies. And the bureau. But man. It's crazy, like when you watch these as a little kid, and then when you come back and watch a lot of these shows, like you don't know who you knew or or what. They must be a new married couple. Cause they so happy. Today I'm two hundred six. It's too big for you. It really ought to be for a couple with a family, you know. Oh damn. Oh pumpkin, I didn't mean anything. It's just that really this house is too big. I'll see in a few weeks. Okay. He's like, bitch, how you gonna tell me? Hold on. How you gonna tell me what I can have? Because I ain't got a family. If I want a mansion, then I'm gonna have a mansion. I don't really want. But still, I, the, the gall, the audacity, the nerve of this woman trying to sell my house because it's... Don't get me started. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in the process of buying a house right now, so I'm a little bit passionate about it. But I digress. You guys don't want to hear about my personal story. You guys want to see the reaction to the movie, so I will continue. Sorry about that. Let's, let's continue. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just telling Barbara about this offer on the house. No, Jane. Um. Oh, that is so cute. They're just running everywhere. And another station wagon. Why do they have a station wagon? I ain't got no family. <laughs> I hate station wagons. It's like every movie that I've seen in the last you know, few months. They have station wagons. No, I don't think that it's any of Jane's business. <sighs> Besides... Hey, could try again on this vacation, you know. How's the model coming? Oh, it's great. You know, you said Brosnan built that foundation in 1835. But his, his grandson... He's just going to sit there and talk to himself. <laughs> no way. This is no place like... Hey, look out for that... Oh. Damn, bro. Oh. Oh, damn. That's very unfortunate. Start to our vacation. Oh, you'll feel better when you dry, honey. <laughs> that fire wasn't burning when we left. Holy shit. <laughs> you get some wood for the fire. Well, maybe we should just take things. Actually. Yeah, slow down. Y'all been running. We got back up here. Y'all been running every chance y'all get. Y'all need to slow y'all go ass down. down. Bridge and okay. Oh, Whoa. Oh, oh, you oh, saved my life. Two hours. Oh, Barbara, you are not going to believe what? That's all you. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> y'all dead. Handbook for the recently deceased. <laughs> Handbook for the recently deceased. Deceased. Would it be crazy if you got like a handbook like this for real when you die? Just 
Can you give me the Just basics? imagine if you was illiterate book isn't to watch a whole life and you couldn't read. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> Why did you disappear when you... The Bio Exorcist. Sandworm Incident Priest. <laughs> where are all the other dead people in the world? Why is it just you and me? Maybe this is heaven. <laughs> heaven, there wouldn't be dust on Oh, yeah, then the, that offer for $260,000 they wanted. Oh, she's floating on the bed. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I guess it's not really too crazy. She's dead, so. Hey, the mom from Home Alone. Feel your feet. And look at that kitchen. You're finally going to be able to cook a decent meal. Damn. Damn. <laughs> mean mine's and I bought it. I mean, I made it. It's my sculpture. She's like, I don't give a Put shit. On the table. <laughs> <laughs> Just dropped it. Oh, so why? Why? Oh. Why? Why? Bad luck. Oh, so you left the city for me. I am so Why? Of course. For you. Hey, that wallpaper is kind of hideous. Read my mind. <laughs> oh, God. We just have to pray the other closets are bigger than this one. Ooh. That was creative. She hung herself and ripped off her face. <laughs> yeah. Deliver me from L.L. L. Bean. They're having a lot of fun. Oh, no. <laughs> I know what you two are up to, and you're not going to get away with it. Oh. If you don't let me gut out this house and make it my own, I will go and stay and I will take you with me. Oh, hell no. Nah. I need a divorce. <laughs> yeah. well, well, maybe the house could use a little remodeling. Did you feel something? When? Okay. She's like he's a little bit in touch with his spirituality a little bit. Yeah, ghosts of the people who died in this house may want us out of here. <laughs> so let's do them a favor. No, I'm not putting up with this. What are you about to do? Barbara, you don't know what's out there. Here. Barbara! You better run, run, run. <laughs> My whole life was a dark room. One big dark room. Oh, I'm only truly happy when I'm sculpting. That's a very good idea. That'll be um <clears throat> very time consuming. Right. First the house. He's think he's a smart guy. <laughs> Even though he's married to her. Good idea. Beetlegeist, the bio exorcist. Beetlegeist. Living is that the problem and not the solution? And you might mention that I single-handedly decorated that house in case he needs any any advice in that arena. Yeah, that's why. I look. <laughs> yeah. Have a trouble with a living? <laughs> you tired of having your home space violated? You want to get rid of that pesky living thing to get your business? Hell, I'll possess myself if I gotta. Whoa! Yo, I got demons running all through what the me. Hell? All through me. Come on down here and see it. I wish this thing you want me to eat. I swallow anything you want me to swallow. Come on down out. She want a dog. Oh. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Man. He said, I eat whatever you want me to eat. I swallow. I swallow. I would even chew on a dog. No wonder Michael Keaton enjoyed this role so much. Some help. <laughs> Yo, a door to the afterlife. Ah, shit. The question is, do you go through that door? They got the organs and shit playing. <laughs> Yo, 
his sweater is atrocious. It's like a half turtleneck Christmas sweater with flowers. The point of my coming up here if you people won't let me relax. Come on, Kendra. Sweetheart. Go help your mother. Maybe you can relax in a haunted house, but I can't. Yeah, that's uh parenting 101. Don't listen to your kids, apparently. Uh, she got sawed in half for real. What the hell? <laughs> He choked on a ball. <laughs> Fat ass. <laughs> <Adam? Who's laughs> oh man. He swallowed the whole chicken ball. For Juno, your caseworker. Yeah, that's frustrating. Number 54 million, 601. Fern Dog. This is this shit worse than the DMV. Or Secretary of State, depending on what area of the world you live in. You want a cigarette? Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to cut down myself. <laughs> Burned himself by smoking cigarettes. What the hell is his deal? We got a voodoo curse on him or something? This is what happens when you die. What I know now, I wouldn't have had my little accident. No, oh, she slid her wrist. She said accident. <laughs> Maitland, party at you. Take the handbook and go to the city. He's roadkill. Oh, we forgot our handbook. I look fine. Uh -huh. Yeah? Fine. Thanks. I've been feeling a little flat. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Wow. Damn. <laughs> People who hung themselves are document transport. For ghosts that have been exorcised. Good to Damn. That's death for the dead. That sucks. It's all in the handbook. Keep moving. Like, you know what? We'll come back later. Let me go back and go get the book and actually read it. <laughs> Oh, that's the old girl sculpture, so this is their house. This must be like a future of their house. We're very unhappy. What did you expect? You're dead. We want oh, to get rid of she got her neck slit. Barbara and I worked very hard. <laughs> you can't tell her she attitude. probably wouldn't mind <laughs> sharing the house with people who... You don't. He does not work well with others. Mm, it's not. What do you mean? I didn't want to bring it up. Uh, but rather than have you stumble. Ugh, oh, that look gross. Big ass fly. <laughs> hey, you. Come here. Help me. Help me. <laughs> In the phone, honey. Dad's found a way of making some money while I relax. So would you scram? Wow. Your mother's gonna kill you when she sees you cut holes in her three hundred dollar sheets. <laughs> so my thing was, did he hear them moaning? If he heard them moaning, how come he didn't hear him talking? Uh, flaw. God, how can you scare that woman? <laughs> Shut that oh, shit up. God. <sighs> Nor the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. Yeah, you got that right. You look like a regular girl. <laughs> <woman. laughs> shit. <laughs> you read our books. You look strange and you could seriously follow. unusual. Yeah, why were you guys free? Anyway, you can't scare her. She's sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. Ah. She's taking you drugs. You carved all these little houses. Something I would not have caught when I was a young child watching this movie. <laughs> well, if you are a real ghost, you guys better get another routine because those sheets, they don't work. Man, fuck that. That shit would have worked on me. 
Singing some floating sheets. I'm out. I'm moving. I'm packing the kids up. Me and the lady, we are dipping out. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> what happened? You fool about this. You two kids pick me. You didn't have to, but you pick me. It makes me want to kiss you guys. Come on. Come no. Give me one. Come on. Oh, oh, man. Huh? Anybody. Ah, possession. Good. Learn to throw your voice. Fool your friends. Fun and party. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to get some people out of our house. Ah, I understand. Yeah, for a while. Get to be real pals. You know what I'm saying? And... <laughs> Save that guy for later. Oh. My wife and I, what are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel <laughs> I look through the Black Plague. During that, I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times. Can you be scary? Oh, oh, I know what you're asking me. Can I be scary? <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, let me something out of something. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Excuse me! What? Excuse me. We are leaving now. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Let's go! Oh. oh, that worked. How did you do that? Hope you like Italian. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Hey, come on! <laughs> hey, <laughs> <come now. laughs> Hawk, hey! You're working with a professional here! Right. Nice fucking man! <laughs> oh man, that was fun. <laughs> oh, damn. You know what they say about people who commit suicide? In the afterlife, they become civil servants. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I didn't realize you were into this. Don't mind her. She's still upset because somebody dropped a house on her sister. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this looks real. <laughs> okay, so they got possession under control. So they got possession of all of them. She's a dead banana. Scared shot of me. You, yep, I would have been out. It was like being in an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they I loved didn't it. I didn't know I could do the calypso. <laughs> Sarah loves the supernatural. She'll have him sprint up here in his helicopter if you can produce ghosts for her. <laughs> yeah, people are crazy. Ghosts, they happy. Reason is, is that they were trying to scare you away and you didn't get scared. Oh, please, they're dead. It's a little late to be neurotic. <laughs> you have always been a flake. Damn. If you insist on frightening people, do it with your skull. Damn. Damn. Right Just shit it on her nasty looking sculptures. <laughs> the attic. Open this door, you dead people, or we'll. Bust it down and we'll drag you out by the ropes you hanged yourself with. Don't commit suicide. It doesn't matter. Wow. Maybe I have a chance to teach you something here. <laughs> oh shit. Dang, he didn't got the book. He didn't found the book. No ghost here. <laughs> oh boy, you guys are really a couple of spookers, aren't you? <laughs> now, let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Oh. 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 Yeah. Dude, I'm out of here. 
I'm out of here. We come for your daughter, Chuck. Damn, we try to murder him. Yeah. Get back, you losers! How dare you hear us, a professional lawyer? I'm not fond of Charles Dietz particularly, but you could have killed him. The only one I think I can deal with is that Growling Poe's daughter. I think she understands me. You leave her alone, you. Make my millennium trench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> Where's the men's room? Yeah. yeah. I'm not your coach. He survived. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait, coach, let me get something straight. Yeah, yeah. What's our curfew around here? Family times. You've got other things to worry about. They got Next attacked by a, a big ass, ass ghost snake. And they still here. Do so much. What these folks is crazy. Rearrange their environment. Crazy. I know just as I am alone. Is she writing the suicide note? Having plummeted. And she's super extra. <laughs> the winter. Good. Yeah, that looks gross. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> what? I don't think we survived that crash. <laughs> How did you get? <laughs> that's unfortunate. I tell you, this uh, this death thing is it's just too creepy. <laughs> I got these friends. I mean, you probably got your reasons, uh, but the thing is, I can't do anything from over here. If you could get me out over there, then maybe we could talk or something. But, you know, in order to be on the horn all the time, I got to show up at shopping centers for openings and sign autographs and shit like that, and it makes my life a hell, okay? <laughs> so me. Well, turn around and look behind you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Beetle. God, okay, now. Beetle drink? Uh, beetle, uh, 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 Beetlejuice? Yes, that's it! Name's Beetlejuice? Ah, you said it twice, just say it once more. Come on! Just say it! No! No! Ah, what it. you ah. say it! I want to be dead, too. No. Dumbass kids, not no man. I want to be dead. Like it's a... Like it's a thing to do. Answer the insect zoo here in the old hardware store. We can't lose. <laughs> Lydia, you find. Wait, what am I worried about? Also, you can't even change a tire. <laughs> I'll be needing something personal of theirs. What do they have that's personal? Oh, they uh, they clothes. They still got they uh, the wedding clothes. The wedding ah, clothes. Ah, ah, shh, I'll be on it. Words. <laughs> Barbara. Oh, damn. Barbara. A sudden thunder. Pure. Okay, 
I want out for good. In order for me to do that, hey, I gotta get married. <laughs> hey, these aren't my rules. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. Or we're even, babe. Okay, just help them. <laughs> Beetlejuice. It's showtime. <laughs> Attention, game word shoppers. <laughs> I wonder how much they had to pay Kmart to say it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thank They're you. gone. Thank you. What do we got here tonight, kids? Ooh, uh, well, we got the, uh, the Maitlands. You tried to dip set. Fast round, boy. We're gonna have some last. <laughs> In the meantime, the dowry's on me, Dad. Wow. Well. Bit. <laughs> Call the cater. My man's an alien. It's like a real live alien. Do you be your wedded wife? Jeez, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a big decision, isn't it? I mean, I always said if I ever did it, I was going to do it once, and that was it. Well, <laughs> sure, yeah. Right. Uh, maybe I should answer for her, okay? I'm Lydia Dietz, and I'm of sound mind. The man next to me is the one I want. You ask me, I'm answering. Yes, I love that man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is crazy. Scram! Beetlejuice! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I don't know why he ain't sent her somewhere too, shit. <laughs> oh. She meant nothing to me. Nothing at all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she rode a sandworm through the house. How did that kind of like break the physics of the living in the dead world. Like how? I'm just being, I'm just being that guy. <laughs> this is like a normal girl now. What time is it, honey? It's about 3.30. You have got to be kidding me. We spent the whole week studying for that test. I got an A. I'm about to say a whole week. So can I? Come on. Well, I suppose. The living in the dead, harmonious lifestyles. Sounds like that you got an A in the math test. <laughs> okay, so they living with all of them. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake your body line. Time. Jump in the line. Rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you. Sorry, just sitting there. Dang, that's wow. Wow. Tango waltz, 
I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body. Rock your body, child. There we have it. Beetlejuice. Man, that was a that was a great movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Haven't seen it since I was little, so a lot of the jokes. And, and that's one thing. That's why I like going back and watching a lot of these shows I haven't seen since I was little. Because you miss out all the adult jokes, you know, the meanings behind everything. Um, but anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys um, definitely taking the time to watch it. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell to get notified. It's greatly appreciated. Um, but I've been gone for a long time. I, I want to say it's been about a good three or four months now since I started a new job in, in April. It's hard to do that job plus make content, but the job is really slow right now. So I had a couple hours to get some stuff done. Um, but to give you guys an idea, I work literally seven days a week, uh, 12 hours a day. And then with the lunch, it makes 13. So I wait 84 hours a week. So, um, I really had to put the content on the back burner but again whenever i got time i definitely try to crank out an episode um for an example i recorded i, I know i just posted it the other day but i recorded that uh nothing nothing to lose or no, i'm sorry nothing but trouble i recorded that three months ago and i just had absolutely no time to get it edited so once this deployment is over i'm gonna try to start doing stuff again if not every day every week um but i had time today so i might as well crank one out um, I'm going to try to get some more recorded and maybe edit, it, edit them throughout the week. Um, but anyway, again, I appreciate the time and the patience. So that's just an update on the content that may or may not come out in the near future. Um, as far as I know a lot of people ask me about the console giveaways, I actually still owe um, a few people consoles, you know, because I wanted to make sure I get like a lot of people wanted to actually wait until the PS5 or the new Xbox Series X came out. But if you don't know, like, there's a serious scalper issue that's going on, you know? I mean, I've given away almost over 30 consoles, and they were easy to obtain at that point. But now, I don't even have a PS5 myself, and it's not for the lack of trying. Like, I've been, every day when they come out on Best Buy or GameStop, and I refuse to pay, you know, $800 for a console, I refuse. I will not let the scalpers win. But because of that, some of my previous winners are still waiting for their consoles. Luckily, they have been awesome. They've been patient. They they understand the situation. So um, I'm just waiting to get my hands on some more uh, next-gen consoles. Well, current-gen now, I guess you can say. Um, but with that being said, I'm thinking I got to think of a whole other business model. Because usually, when I do the console giveaways, the winner will win. I go out, buy the console, ship it, or give them the gift card to go get one. But now, since the consoles are extremely rare to get a hold of, I got to think of some different kind of giveaways. I can do something easy like gift cards and stuff like that, but I like the proof of people providing photos. And, you know, it's easier to market when you have pictures of someone holding a console versus a gift card, you know, so... I'm trying to think of some other ways and then I am not doing any more console giveaways or any giveaways period until I give the ones, the, the last uh, three winners, I want to say, um, I owe three consoles. So, and then I also owe another console from my, um, from my premium members that I still haven't even did the drawing on that yet. So I'm not doing anything until I can try to get those you know, taken care of. So it's only fair. I don't want to be giving away gift cards and they haven't even gotten their prices yet. Um, but again, appreciate the patience with all that. But everybody who else has been enjoying my content, thank you. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Again, I'm going to try to continue to do more content. I'm thinking about watching next. Um, it was another movie that I, was, I can't even think of. It. But if there's any other movies you guys want to see me react to, make sure you leave it in the comments. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, theories, hypotheses, feedback, conclusions, or just want to say what's up, make sure you do so below, and I will catch you guys on the next reaction. Oh, one last thing. I started this whole new over the view mode. That way I could try to show more of the video, you know, um, or versus like the little box, you know, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, let me know. Um, yeah, but that's all I got. Until next time, i catch you later. Peace.